what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man i feel like i have not done a suron video in so long i don't even remember the last time i was on my suron which is just a beautiful beautiful bike over here you got that milk racing 16 in the rear use code vaulted to get yourself a nice discount i'm over here on a beautiful california los angeles day about to meet up with the homie liam and let's see what we can get ourselves into over here this intersection right here about a month and a half ago was a crazy lamborghini chase police chase in a lambo stolen lambo you guys may have seen that video already but guy ended up running away from the cops and crashing big time i'm pretty sure he ended up uh, not making it but that car was just ripped into pieces pretty crazy it happened at like i think five in the morning or something like that pretty intense but anyways back to some good stuff back on the ron gave it some uh, tlc just uh you know tying up some bolts that are getting loose highly suggest doing that and checking your sir on every couple of months just to keep it in you know top shape so fix some bolts uh, my head tube bolt was getting a little loose so i'll fix that and uh, it should feel a lot better Ooh, it smells like it smells like somebody's medicating There he goes. He learned a new trick. Man, it smells like somebody's medicating again. Holy crap. Riding through uh, the valley in LA right here. It's like every block. You smell it on every block. All right, a little bit of off-roading. I haven't been off-roading in a minute. I had like a, a mini mishap with my brand new uh, street motorcycle. Man, those front brakes are no joke. That thing locked up on me and uh, caused me to kind of like tip over. So I kind of messed up uh, my wrist. It was kind of out of order for like a month. It's still not 100%. we can make it work but yeah feels amazing to be back on the Suron like I said I haven't been on this thing in so long it almost feels a little foreign to me and I know that um, any small little mishap if I'm falling on my wrist again I can really do some damage so I'll try to be a little careful Over here is a cool spot. This is a, like a military reserve area. They store a lot of their uh, trucks and stuff over here. Pretty cool. But yeah, I do plan on um, bringing some more Sauron content, getting back to my Sauron content. I actually have a few upgrades at the house waiting to be installed that I need to uh, make videos on. I've been just so slammed with reviews. I've been getting so many of them to review. And uh, I know you guys don't really fuck with them, but I have to do that. Over here is a cool area that I discovered way back in the day. It's a mini airbase for like toy planes. And from what I can see, there are people here and look at that. That guy looks like he's got an F-16 uh, or something. Let's go check that out for a second. Do a little mini break and check out some uh, model planes. Oh, he's bringing it down. We got another one ready to go over here. That thing is cool. How you doing? It's very nice. Wow, look at that thing. It's pretty cool. 
That's pretty nice, man. I'm gonna go bring my saran over here. Ah, it's in between. It's electric. Yeah, these are really gained in uh, gained popularity in the last uh, few years. These guys, yeah. It's yeah, there are two different brands. That one is called the Talaria, and this one is called a Sauron. This one is uh, stock for the most part. He just threw on some stickers and a different seat. And this one is completely upgraded. The battery is different. The controller is different. They're pretty nice, man. Yeah, they can go up to. Uh, this one will do like 65. Yeah, his are all done. He's, uh, um, it was like his front tire, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was like this. These are like hybrid off and on road. Mine are strictly for off road, but I ride it on the road. They're pretty fun. When are you uh, going up? Soon. These guys sometimes they'll all go together, like six of them, and they'll do combat trying to hit each other. No way. They usually do, and then they crash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hopefully we can. Uh, this one, they just put that one together, so we'll see how it does. First time taking off. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember when I first uh, found this spot way back in the day. This was lo a long time ago, so none of this electric stuff was was even happening. Now they're they're pretty much may you know for the most part all of them are electric obviously there's still some gas ones but electric stuff took over so much so i remember seeing uh, everybody had the regular propeller ones and this one guy had a jet one with real fuel and just that sound that he made shoo, passing by it was so impressive i think it's cool seems like this one's doing pretty well let's see the landing oh pretty sweet landing that's cool all right, let's get out of this place and continue over to the dam, the Sepulveda Dam, which is a super uh, popular place, very famous. It's been featured in a ton of movies in like Top Gear, The Grand Tour. Uh, a bunch of people go over there. Never been over there with my Sauron. I always wanted to. So we'll go check it out. Here we are so yeah that is the 405 freeway and that is the 101 freeway where they uh, meet and it's always busy as hell over there uh, there are some motorcyclists down there yeah there's always people over here doing things all right take a little shortcut baby yeah this place has been in so many TV shows and movies it's pretty crazy
do a little a little picture over here yeah this is the Sepulveda Dam nuts <laughs> Look at all these birds. Holy cow. It's like that Hitchcock movie. That is crazy. Well, that was pretty cool. Finally uh, visited this spot. Can uh, check that off the list. But I think that's pretty much it. That'll do it. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.